Hello, welcome back to another weekly vlog. What am I doing? That's been a Wednesday. It's not been very wellnessy. It's been a nice day, but it's not been normal, normal wellness Wednesday. Um, I've not, I, I haven't been to the gym this week or today because of my new tattoo. Because it's hidden healing, but it is pretty much, pretty much there, you know. Um, Scab, scabs have been flying off. It's just, it's nearly there. I've had a, a pleasant day today. I went to visit my friend Ben, who, my dear friend Ben, who was in my band with me called Sunny Bones. Him and his fiance have had a baby. He said to come over today, because obviously it's been cray cray for them. And I took them over a little goodie bag because, um, what a little present, I'm just gonna have to hoist my skirt up. I, I went to a big, an amazing big Tesco in a place called Great Yarmouth. Oh my God, it's got two floors. I've got one of them magic escalators. Sorry, I'm really, and I got this skirt whilst I was in there. It's a salon, but it's not very flexible. How cute is it though? Um, and I got them because obviously I've got many friends that have had babies and I know what it's, well, I don't, I don't know what it's like, but I kind of know what it's like. I got them, well, I got Mabel a little Rolling Stones baby grow and a little denim jacket for when she's a little bit bigger. And then I got them a really, a really fancy ready meal. Like I wanted to get them the Charlie Bigham mac and cheese cause that's just out of this world, but they didn't have any. So I got them a Pizza Express one because when you have a baby, you don't really have all the time in the world. So cooking is like sometimes not the easiest thing to do for you. But I also got them a nice bag of fancy coffee and I got them some chocolate and I got um, some bunch of flowers for them. And they really liked it. But I'm just, just making the bed. I'm going out for some dinner in a bit with my mate. I just thought I'd do this before I go so I don't have to do it before I go to bed. You know when you, you know when you get in and you're like, oh, I can't wait to get into bed. And then you're like, fuck, I still gotta make the bloody bed sheets. And they're all fresh, because they're just they're all washed. They're being hung out on the line in the sunshine today. So they smell glorious. I know this is unnecessary, because it's later on in the day, but it makes me feel like a job's complete when it's done properly. Thank you. Yo, good day. I had a lovely, good day. I had a lovely meal last night with my friend. Um, we went to a place called Weavers, the Weavers Arms in Norwich, and it was great. I didn't eat all my, I had a side of tomatoes, but they've got like garlic, capers, oil. They were so delicious and I was just so full up. I had steak and chips, but like finely sliced steak with peppercorn, gorgeous fries. We had like bread and dippy stuff and it was lovely, but I wanted some tomatoes, but I didn't eat them all. So I took them home. I've got big plans for these. So I'm gonna go to the supermarket in a bit and get a nice bit of crusty bread. But I thought I would explain my predicament that I'm in at the moment. It's not a predicament. I just didn't know if anybody else relates to this. Um, who might be freelance or self-employed or just generally have a job in which you go through a busy period. So typically, it happens every year, midsummer, like peak summer, in what I do, it's never really busy. Like in terms of like collaborations, branded, branded jobs, etc. Um, it's quite, it can be quite dead for a lot of people. Um, and as much as I'm really enjoying having a bit more freedom and a bit more time for myself to you know, go and do things out in the world and enjoy the summer. I equally do struggle with not being busy. Not because 
I don't have this thing anymore about feeling worthless for not being productive or doing lots of things. It's not that. It's more the fact that I struggle with there being a lack of urgency with anything. So how do I put it? Like when I have a lot to do, I thrive because I'm like, right, let's go. Let's make a plan for the day. Let's do, let's, you know, I've got this deadline. I've got this to do. Um, and there's this sense of urgency and this sense of pressure, which I really thrive under. And I think a lot of, I've always had this my entire life. And since I got diagnosed with ADHD and that being like a thing of that, it's all made sense to me. Like when it came to schoolwork, revising, um, when it comes to just functioning, how, how, how do I function better and feel my most like on it is when there's like, there's this pressure. I just do. Um, you can't create a diamond without pressure. That's what they say. So today, especially I, you know, I've done everything. I've done, the thing is, is, it's not like I'm not doing anything. I'm filming content as I go, but there's only an, a certain amount of days a week in which I can upload it. Like there's no point in me creating loads and loads and loads of content all the time. Cause I'm not going to have enough days. There isn't enough days to post it on. So I'm still, I'm always a bit ahead. So I'm ahead of the game when it comes to filming content, when it comes to my shop, like I go in, I've been going in, I've been packing my orders, I've been doing all that. I've been doing behind the scenes, like emailing, and there are things that I can do behind the scenes, which I have been doing, but I still don't feel like the pressure, you know? And it's just because it's a quiet time of year. And I don't know if anyone else just sort of struggles with like, <laughs> I'm lost. So um, today is, it hit me a little bit as well. And, I just don't want to fall into my usual toxic trap of just sitting around, scrolling on my phone and not really doing anything when I could be doing stuff. So today I've decided to, to I'm going to write a to-do list of things that I want to do. I think also I lack focus when I'm not under pressure. So what do I want to do? So I have gymmed, I've walked the dogs, I've done some drawing, I've got ready, had a really long phone call, I had a little nap. I want to clean the house. I want to finish a print idea. One trending reel that I actually want to give a go at. Every now and then I'll give, give them what the <laughs> algorithm wants. And then I might even see if I can get on the board later. So I might go paddle boarding. But anyone else that like has like busy and quiet times at work with their work, especially if you're like a self-employed creator and it has definitely has its seasons. Like, what do you do in that time? How do you, how do you cope with that? Cause it's interesting. And also it's really helpful for other people to be able to read that response. This game makes some magic happen. So I'm gonna to pop to the supermarket, get my bread, get my bits. Oh, I will show you this. So obviously, you know, I've been crocheting quite a lot. I laid out all my granny squares that I've done so far and I thought I'd done more than this, but I know because I've been trying to learn new things in between and try out, um, trying out new things and trying new, new little doodars that I actually probably haven't done as much as I thought on the initial project because I've been um, dilly dallying. This is the seductress. If I actually stick with this, like I can do a granny square now in about half an hour. I did a couple on the train. I need definitely need one more because that's annoying. If I did that for was five along, I've just put them out randomly. I think it needs to be double the width of this. So it needs to be 10 along, maybe like 10, 10. Maybe I need to make a hundred. Fuck, I need to make a hundred. How many have I made? 14. So that's, I need to make 86 more. And what is 86? 86 times 30. So if I, if, if something, if I need to make 84 of something, but is that right? Is that maths right? 86. I know. No. 86 half hours. I know this rot is coming to me. I just want to figure out how many hours it's going to take. If it takes Helen what, 30 minutes to make one granny square, how many hours would it take her to make 86 granny squares? <laughs> 40. I want to say 43. God, that's so long. That is long, isn't it? This is painful for you to watch. I bet it is, isn't it? I bet there's people sitting there going, Helen! I went on a slight diversion. I went to Curry's to buy a new Apple pen because not working. 
Harry's, unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, M&S food. I went in there to buy a nice loaf of bread, and I did buy a nice loaf of bread, but I also bought um, some other things whilst I was in there, because I don't go in there a lot anymore. And it's one of those, it's just one of those days, it's one of those places that you think, oh, ah, I've not seen them before, or, or what? When in M&S, you know what I mean? So, uh, and I don't really have much going on in the fridge at the moment, so what have I got? Percy Pig ice cream cones, yum yum. And then I also got some of these Dulce de Leche ones. These looked really good. I think these would be really good in tacos. Lime and chili king prawns. A blood orange margarita in a can. I'll have that at the weekend. English mustard sausage rolls. Uh, had to buy the New York pastrami dip because it's delish. And then I just got a couple of little ready meal things. I've got masala marinated British chicken breast with bhaji crumb and mango chutney. And then I got a haddock fillet with a haddock fillet, barber's cheddar rare bit. I don't really know what I'm doing this weekend. So I just got some easy options to cook for me. Um, some shaved Parmesan, some char grilled artichokes. I do this all the time. I forget what I've put in my fucking basket. This little avocado. This will go well with my prawns, wouldn't it? Little Mexican style rice and avocado. And then I've got some salmon with all this lovely stuff on the top of it. Oh, and what I went in for was some nice sourdough bread. Yep, so I've gone to the shop and I've bought the bits, so I can cross that off my to-do list. Just put all this away first, then I can clean the house. I shall do that. You in the face, you need shop. Sh my shop little eyes. I really need to go to the hairdressers, get my hair cut. Um, they sent me this. Just opened it in the post. How nice is this kimono? I love that shop. Shop Little Lies. Lovely people. Me. Oh, put this in the fridge. Yeah, how cute is it? It doesn't go with the trainers, but I can still wear it and feel like a lady of the manor. So I got a little bit through my to-do list. I did end up drawing for a new print idea that I've got and I got stuck in the drawing hole. I did a bit of cleaning, but I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. Um, I've just not been, I've just not, had the, I've just not had the juice today, you know? So, um, right, I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna do, use the leftover tomatoes. I'm gonna get two slices of bread, or just maybe one long bit. Oh no, completely open out like a huge idiot. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, freshly baked bread. Okay, I've got to cut that properly. But my idea is to make like a, tom this is the tomatoes. Make like a tomato-y, garlic-y thing in the chopper. And I'm gonna fry them. Alexa, turn on Blackpool. Right, I'm going to the cinema with my friends to see Alien. So I'm wearing, I'm wearing my Alien t-shirt today. Um, 
had a shower and stuff. And um, I've just got my New Balance on and some socks. And then I've got my, I've kept the hat on. This is my Nostronomo hat. Haha. <laughs> um, and then I've just oh, I've put the, the lime green bag on. I've been wearing the red version a lot recently from Free People. But I thought I'd get the lime one because, uh, well, it matches. So we're gonna go to Fernando's and then we're gonna go see go to the cinema the next to each other. So it's a beautiful date evening with my gal pals. This is my Nando's for the evening. Lemon and herb wrap, macho peas, creamy, creamy mash, garlic bread, Ellie's got a salad bowl, and Heidi's got a halloumi and mushroom pita. very exciting place because we're doing a very exciting task. We're buying a paddle board for Jack because he loved it so much last weekend. He was like, yeah, I, d I can do this. I, I can own this. Are you sure you want that one? Yeah. He enjoyed it so much that he was like, I want to do it more. So I said, well, if we got one, if we got one for you, we could literally go whenever we want, wherever we want. And you live by this coast, so. So we're going to do that, and he got his license yesterday. So we're going to do it today. He passed the test. Passed the <laughs> we went to the gym this morning for a gym and a swim. Had got some bread sauce, and so now we're going to get this go on the water in a bit. Alien was insane. It was perfect, like Prometheus and Covenant were great, but disappointing at the same time in aspects. Whereas this one. I couldn't fault it. And I also timed how long it took me to do a granny square. Because I, I asked Jack my painful question, uh, which is my math sum. But he, I was right. And that is 42 hours. But it takes me 26 minutes to do one granny square. And that's not even like really rushing and like, oh, this is me having me, this is me doing a granny square at a really nice pace. Did you ever have um, a Nintendo? Which one? Like the classic one. Oh, N64? Not N64, like a Nintendo Mega Drive. No, a Sega Mega Drive. No, no, Nintendo, Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Ah, uh, yeah, SNES, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Did you ever have a game called Bubsy? Probably. And basically, you're a cat, and you run across the screen like you do in Sonic, and you you're collecting yarn balls, yeah. but they made like this popping noise. So when you run, and like he got really fast. Oh yeah, he could run really fast, but then if you double jumped, he could glide. It was yeah, weird, yeah, yeah. but but they, it would make a popping noise. So that, like loads, when you run really fast for all the yarn balls. And it was just one of them games that's really satisfying to play. Right, should we get in and then I'll get, let the dogs out and stuff and then to get out of the box and put all of it in the recycling and then put it in his backpack and stuff and then we can put them together. Oh, I think I put the pump in the um I can put the pump in the Yeah. In the boot. I'll get the dogs together. upset because Lola's on Jack's board. Well, you can jump in and catch up if you want to. We nearly didn't get a parking spot. You're a good girl. See, she's only over there. She's only over there. It was very busy. So when I came here uh, on a morning, it was like 8 a.m. on a Tuesday. So obviously there was going to be no one here, but we've come at midday on a Saturday and it's quite busy. You're right there. There they are. You good? No, no. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, no, Lola! 
Oh, Christ, let's get you. Come here. Oh, All right. I got you. Come on, around. There they are. So they're gonna to wanna to come onto yours. Diane! There you go. Got myself, got myself a picky little lunch here. Sour cream and chive, a little m and sausage roll, some grilled artichoke, some sourdough with the New York Deli pastrami dip spread on it. I've kind of been non-stop since about 7 a.m. today. And I tend to free. We need to clean the board, so after this, I might have a little lay down. I'm doing girlfriend duty, which is coming to the pub to watch football. Because his friend um, was unwell, so I had to bail. And he was sad, so I said I'd come with him. It's a West Ham game. However, I was like, I'm going to bring my yarn. Because I would have been yarning at home. Otherwise, get a few more done whilst I watch the football. So it's, it's versus Arsenal, is it? Aston Villa. It gets so intense when you watch the football. Oh, I'm scared. If you what if you knock a beer over and it goes on my, my arm? He lives in you. Why the fuck that's a whip? In me armor. One in here. Crummies. Crumming her all over the world. I am listening, she is, for any noise of pots and pans and cookery, in she comes. You've just had some bread. I gave you some bread. Do you not remember this happening? Literally, you had the end bit, the end bit of bread. You'll be like a loaf of bread if you eat more bread. You had bread yesterday as well. Look at my bougie salmon from M&S, like, God, very crunchy bread, isn't it? Mm, this is so delicious. Have you tried the salmon yet? No, I've only eaten the, um, the egg at the moment, like the egg. I'm just M and What? Eggs? Salmon. Yeah. Of one does not just walk into m and and pick out one thing, darling. I went in with the intention of bread and came out with multiple items. I generally like to look at how much more expensive it is to shop there, though, generally. Like, I'd like happily to... do that experiment. <laughs> you're paying half. <laughs> yeah, just to find out what, what your actual difference is between. Because the thing is, right, you could shop there. If you did a shopping list that you had to stick to and compared it to, like, Lidl, you know, obviously I feel like, yes, M&S is going to be slightly more expensive. But that, the problem is with m it's not it's not the, so much the going in there and sticking to a shopping list, it's the finding the things that you wouldn't see anywhere else and pick, picking them out. Like, you know, things that you can't get in other places, that's where it gets you, because you're like, I need that, that sounds amazing. The salmon, for example, sounds amazing. Uh, Percy Pig ice cream cones, where else are you can get them? Nowhere. That pastrami dip, fuck. Sunday morning chores. I wrote this last night, because I knew that I'd forget something. So we've got clean the paddles, laundry is in, water front garden, water house plants, water back. So the hose pipe is currently being used, so I will do the house plants with my little house plant. 
There you go. Thank you. Oh, this one has to go outside because there's nothing in the bottom to stop it from leaking. These palms are absolute assholes. When you've got a second, we just shoot some water into this guy. He's a horrible. Ah, no, I know what was some. No, 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 no. Actually, do it over here because it's going to go on the things. Let's pop them there. Why do you all look so dead to me? Like, I don't know how to keep you happy because I do water you, but you just dry out. You've got literally one good leaf left. All of this stuff just looks like it's gone. I see it's all coming out. You're not happy, are you? Bloody thing. Can I have one prong left? Oh, golly. Babe, I need to get this plant. It's not OK. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Layla just keeps putting her nose in the ball launcher and not an actual ball. You have the one. That nice. You look wonderful. Do you know? Yeah. I'm gonna get a bigger jug. I'm gonna get a jug to water my plants. Let's fill up that little watering can that's on the side, would you? She keeps me busy. Yeah. So Jack has gone home because he's got work today he is recording a band over the next three days well after he left i've just been laying around chilling pottering uh and then i just got ready and i was like doing that thing of like do i just stay and have a chill day at home just yeah like pottering and laying around or or do i want to go do the thing that i've been thinking about which is go to this farm uh, where they have a huge sunflower field. So I'm going to this place called Westgate Farm. It's 45 minutes away. It's the last day that the public are able to go in and pick sunflowers. So I was like, well, obviously then that's a no brainer. I've got the paddleboard. The paddleboard's all clean and dry now. So I've packed him up, put him back in its bag because I'm gonna be in the North Norfolk area and there's loads of places like the coast paddleboard around there so I'm, I'm kind of like right I know I want to go to do pick some flowers and then I'm just gonna see where the day takes me I do want to take some nice photos if I can then I'll just complete the rest of my to-do list this evening the only thing left to do is water the gardens it's worked out quite well you know uh, like songs on Spotify like if I like a, obviously if I like a song if I'm, I'm if I've got something on shuffle or like an artist radio and I'm like oh I like this I like it <laughs> and it goes into the liked songs playlist, right? Because I've got, it's such a big playlist from years of liking all these songs. What I love is when I just like dip into a section of it and it takes me back to that time that I liked it, if that makes any sense. So right now, I'm currently in 2022, around the time that I went to Kentucky. Uh, um, so I'm like kind of reliving that 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 lovely little trip that I did. Yeah, it's just cute. wonderful. Oh look! Ah, oh, that's so nice. Sunflower field. Some of them look a bit sad but she did say like go in to them but I'm scared. Hello! <laughs> I get to pick five uh, or then it's and then you pay after that. I get to pick five for free, included. And then, wow. I've got some here. Mm. We've come to Blakeney. There's a harbour here. Just went for a wee. The toilet there. And there's a twin, two magpies bakery here. So I've got a spiced Moroccan roll and some 
yummy. Oh, I'm not really been here. I've like walked through it. We're just walking along the Blakeney marshes. Yeah, I guess they're marshes. Um, along the coast path so dogs can get a bit of a walk. I'm not entirely sure where the turnaround point is. We'll just have a nice little walk and then see how we go and then turn round. like a very big gap. Oh, okay, I was going to say, it doesn't look very big, that gap, does it? <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm so glad I came out of the house today. And like, you know, there was like, part of me was like, you know, I probably really should just have a day in and chill out. But I so wanted to do these little things, you know? So, I did. Just love summer so much. I'm already getting fed up of seeing people posting about Halloween and autumn already. Like, guys, it's August. And stop wishing your time away. <laughs> Enjoy the now. I get it. I'm, to be fair, I'm like that in winter. I hate winter. English summer is like, I just have really fond memories of some summer as a child. And, and, and just growing up generally, uh, especially like in the countryside. And I think everything about summer is like down to how the, the, how the light looks at different times of day, especially like this time of day, like it's quarter past five now. Sun is on its way down. Even how the light just sits on things and lights up the place. It gives you, I, go, always, I always just get this sort of like warm nostalgic feeling in my tummy. Or just, just generally, I don't know if it's in my tummy, but it's just nostalgia. Because <sighs> I think obviously like, you know, when you're a kid and it's the summer holidays, you've got six weeks and summer felt f like forever when you're a child. Like summer holidays were like, oh my God, I've got all this time to be free, you know? And I think that's why I enjoy it so much. And the thing is, is like, I always, I always feel that when it's winter and the weather's consistently bad, I almost feel claustrophobic when it's overcast for too long. Because it, it sounds silly, but it, it almost feels like I can't see the sky. I can't see like, like the clouds have created this cover. And I feel a little bit sad because we're coming to the end of August and we're gonna come into September. So the days are getting shorter, it's really noticeable. And I know that t autumn is gonna be like, I, feel, I do feel like it's gonna be a later summer because it was, it was late. So I do think that summers are, are going into September, October time. But I am not looking forward to, I, I don't mind the beginning of autumn when everything is like orange and crispy. But then, cause I'm not the, I don't really care for Halloween anymore. Oh, they just flashed me, so they want me to go. Okay. Well, you didn't need to do that, but... Oh, all right. Nice. Are they going to kill me? I don't know. Hey, he looks like a serial killer. Here's me being all like... Just because it was a nice sunny, sunny day. I tell you what, country folk are fucking crazy on the roads. They're just like, meow. Can't fit two cars down here, but I'm going to bomb down it anyway. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Gonna get some fuel for the corn, clean. Cause what it does is it lies. It says it's got 40 miles, but what it means is it doesn't actually know. And that'll go down to five in a blink of an eye, and I'll be like, you lied to me. I'll just turn us by a This takes so long to do. It hurts my hands to do the petrol. I need like a little clip or something. Right, home time. My little four-legged friends. 
Yeah! Let's go!